Hey guys, Jack Cassier here. I am with my guy, Devante. We're gonna show you the fight or flight warm up for a vertical jump. So many of you watching this might have the speed version. This is gonna be the vertical jump version. And I just want you to know that speed and vert do go hand in hand. So there's gonna be some crossover in this workout. Uh, if you already have seen the speed one, there's gonna be a couple things that are similar, only because as you run faster, you also will jump higher. Not As soon as you get to the elite level, you need to be doing things obviously to break through plateaus. But for 97% of athletes, if you're increasing your speed, you're also gonna be increasing your vert, you're also gonna be increasing your broad jump, everything's gonna go up together, okay? So there's gonna be a little crossover, but just bear with us and we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, what you could be doing. It's about a five to 10 minute workout and you could absolutely crush it. It's five to 10 minutes without breaks. Actual sets will take probably about three minutes worth of actual seconds because we're not gonna go over that 10 second threshold or that 12 second threshold while doing this workout. So we're gonna cut real quick and we're gonna show you the drills. The first one that we're gonna do, he's just gonna start with shoulder width just like this. He's gonna be about shoulder width apart and he's gonna go wide out just like this. And he's gonna go 10 seconds as fast as he possibly can. Ready, so on you, go ahead. Good, and then he can stop. Now if you wanna track this and you have a partner, you have someone, I can be sitting here with a stopwatch and I can count how many times he goes out and count that as one. So it'd be one, two, three, four, and so on. And then you can actually see yourself progressing throughout this. And as these numbers go up, so does your speed, so does your vert, so does your uh, athleticism, agility, everything else. Everything will go up. The reason I like tracking and measuring, and I highly, highly recommend that you do have a friend when you do this, or you do it with a brother or a sister or one of your parents, have them measure you so you always have a score to beat. That's why you like Fortnite so much, because it's a game and it's gamified. All right, so be sure that you're gamifying these workouts and you're adding things in, like a stopwatch, like a uh, you know a partner to actually compete against. Okay, now that you got a little bit of rest, and that's the other thing, for rest time, and this is a common question, for rest time, I usually give between 30 and 90 seconds between exercises, so he's got a pretty good conditioning, so he's probably ready to go right now. But there's some athletes, and I, I can just tell based on body language. I know for a fact if he were had to do another one right now, he can go full go. There's some athletes who might be a little bit slouch, a little bit tired, breathing heavy. If you see that, just let them rest. Because what's gonna happen, if they're not resting, then they're gonna be doing things not as fast as they can do it. They're not gonna be jumping as high as they can. They're not gonna be moving as fast as they could possibly move, okay? So giving them the proper rest is just as important as the exercise itself. You want them going full go. So if you're the athlete, don't, don't go into it like you're gonna puke. Go into it like you're gonna try as hard as you can when those 10 seconds call your name. As soon as I say ready, 10 seconds, boom, you're going as hard as you can in those 10 seconds and then you're relaxing until you can do it again, okay? So the next one we're gonna do is alternate. So it's just here, just, just like that. Right. You wanna line? Yeah, yeah, we can walk over the line, come here. Right here. On you. Good. 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 You're gonna do that 10 seconds. If you want a partner to count, the way you would count this one, so if I were to stop watching him, it would be here. Every time that one leg crosses over, so he starts with his left here, it's one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And I would count every time he got over the line, you keep that score. What did you say? You got 29 recently? Yeah. He got 29 recently. The score, the if you could get in that 30 threshold, like right around the 29, once you're over like that 27, 28, you're, you're moving, right? And I'd be willing to bet he can get in the 30s. If he, if he does this, I guarantee he could. Okay, so next one we're gonna do is gonna slow the tempo down. So this is another another common question is gonna be going back to how much rest in between. So he, he might be breathing a little bit right now, but the next one, we're not gonna be going like back and forth, right? We're not gonna be doing a lot of quick stuff. So he's just gonna come here, he's gonna hold his foot like this. He's gonna hold it out, he's gonna feel it in his hip, in his hip flexors, in his rectus femoris, he's gonna feel it all through the top of his leg, so up, like this, yep, and then kick it out and hold it. He's gonna feel it all through here, and he's gonna also feel it pulling back here on his hammy, right there. That's gonna be tight. His glutes are gonna be tight. His core is gonna be tight. This is literally like the flexion. It's literally the running motion. All right. So he's strengthening all these muscles and isolating the muscles. So you're gonna do that for ten. And all the sets and reps will be in the PDF along with this. You're gonna do this for about ten seconds. Then you're gonna switch legs. And you're gonna do the other leg. Good. Make sure that knee is up and that foot is out. That's perfect. Perfect form right there. He's gonna hold it. And even an athlete like him, an elite level guy, guy with crazy hops, crazy speed, he's still gonna feel this, right? And this resistance, I think, is a medium, and he's still gonna feel it. Doesn't matter how advanced, how strong, what you are, this is gonna isolate the muscles you need to jump higher and to run faster. But we're gonna focus on the jumping for this portion. 
So the, the next one we're gonna do, same thing. And notice that the tempo can increase now because she's not doing anything that's actually super aerobic, right? 10 seconds, you're starting to break that threshold where you're like, you're getting a little tired, some lactic acid's building up. But with this, it's more like he's probably sore. He's not breathing heavy. He's probably a little like weaker, like your muscles feel a little bit more jello-y, right? So we're gonna let that repair a minute and then we're gonna go right into the next one, which the next one is just chops like this with, with a nice and easy tempo. We're gonna go, and all the sets and reps will be in the PDF. Good. Good, and then switch legs. Perfect. We'll speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the tempo a little bit quicker on it, but make sure that you're doing this. And I just wanna make this video of 25 minutes, right? So make sure that you're doing this and you're getting enough rest in between. I cannot stress that enough, because if you want hops, you need to be giving yourself rest. Recovery is just as important as the actual jumping, like I said. And we're, we're about to get into the jump, we're about to get into the other stuff here in a second. But the last one we're gonna do, same thing, he's gonna come here, he's gonna drive that leg up. Now he's just gonna kick out, just like this. Good. Up. Good. Perfect. He's gonna feel that same thing. You're gonna feel that in your hip, but he's also gonna feel it on the backside. Posterior chain, he's gonna feel it everywhere. Good. And now you can switch legs. Cool. All right, now you can take the bands off. Now we're gonna get into some of the hops. Now, I'm not gonna use cones, just because a lot of you guys don't have cones, or at least twice speed cones, so you can hand me. So we're just gonna use this band. I'm gonna show you how you can use this band. You can pretty much use anything. You can use a water bottle, you could use, I just don't wanna start throwing all this equipment at you that you need. So we're just gonna use the band. You can use an imaginary line, whatever. So we're gonna place the band on the ground. Now, this is actually one of my favorite drills for athletes to do. Like if you wanna add inches, you, if you test your vert and you do exactly what he just did with the bands, and then you go into this and you retest your vert, I'd be willing to bet that it goes up three inches. That is how confident I am in these sets of drills right here. And you're about to feel super loose once you get through this. So the first one we're gonna do, he's just gonna do a hop over the band. He's gonna load in between each one. So it's gonna be here with a load, up, up, up. Now, the point of this is you wanna literally try to push your feet through the ground. So it's push, push. You literally, like, like you wanna smash through the ground. That is how this should feel, okay? You're not banging your feet, you're not hurting your joints, you're just driving as much force into the ground on that low. So you can just go ahead. Good, good. Absorb and then fire, good. There it is. Good. Now we're gonna rest. So this is gonna be a little more aerobic, right? He's gonna be breathing a little heavier. So we're gonna relax for about 30 to 90 seconds depending on your aerobic capacity, right? So we're gonna do it, but the next one, he's not gonna load this time. He's just gonna come over, it's just gonna be like a, basically a tough jump over, so it's going back and forth. We can wait about 10 seconds. So then you're gonna go through this series, and I do wanna, I wanna challenge you. I want you to test your vert before doing this, you can even, if you don't have like a vert tech, because most people don't, you can even use a piece of tape, slap a backboard, go back, do, do exactly this, take another piece of tape, slap a backboard. Watch what happens. You're gonna jump higher after doing this. Good. Power. Good. Good. Perfect. Cool. Now I'm gonna let him rest a little bit. We're gonna do a couple more things. Now, the next phase of this, this is gonna be more of absorbing. So, for what he's doing right here, we, we, just, we just isolated his hip flexors, rectus femoris, posterior chain, we got everything firing. Now we're going into some, some light intensity plyos, jumping, pushing through the ground, rate of force development. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into some absorption. So like, a lot of guys watch this may have done depth jumps or shock jumps where you stand on a box and then you land, you hold. This is gonna be similar to that, but we're gonna, we're gonna mix in. We're not gonna use a box, just because not many people will have access who are watching this. So I'm gonna show you a way that you could do some, some, some absorption workouts like this, just with your body weight. So what we're gonna do, the first thing, you're gonna do three light hops. So it's one, 
two, three. Land in the lunge. Hold for about two to three seconds. One, two, three. Land in the lunge. Hold. Right. And then all the sets and reps will be in the PDF. I'll have them demonstrate and show you. Fire. Good. Good. Fire. Perfect. So for this drill, you, yeah, he did a good job. Everything you do with jumping, you have to understand. When you're practicing and you're doing things like this, right? You're doing your warm-ups, you're doing your vertical jump training, you need to be doing everything at full go. So those jumps, I would rather have an athlete jump twice full go than doing 100 jumps, honestly. Because you're training your body to be powerful. So everything you do, just understand like, it's power, it's energy. It's energy going from my body through the ground. You have to keep that in mind while you do this type of training. All right, so we're gonna do one more here. And we're just gonna work on our our actual like one step. He's gonna do 10 jumps. And, and this one's actually like super casual. You can even do this just like talking. We're just gonna walk. You wait like 10 seconds, then you're just gonna power step and jump as high as you can. Walk, wait like 10, 15 seconds. You can go anywhere you want, and then it's just as soon as you focus, then it's just like how, however you want to however you want to drive into the ground where it's just boom, boom, boom. Right? So that, that quick step, that quick jump. Uh, how do you want me to uh, you can land however you want. So it's just boom, and then you can just land like that and then walk it off. So it's just 10 max effort. These are max effort jumps. 10 max effort jumps. At a very light tempo, however you want to do it. You don't have to do all 10. We'll show you like four. Good. And you just relax. Walk it out. and It's almost like you're like retesting your vert. So you want to wait 10, 15, 20 seconds until you feel good. And, and literally like psych yourself up, like okay, boom. And I'm gonna go fire up and jump as high as I can. You can go ahead whenever you're good. Good. Kid can jump. He, he can jump. I used to jump like that one day. Brian, you should put a little like, thing of me jumping right here, like out of boxes. It's something cool that I used to do. <laughs> but now we got Devontae's ruining the internet with the tops. You ruined it for everyone. You can do one more? Very good, cool. And that's it, that's literally it. So when you add up all the time it takes to do it, it's, it's three minutes worth of seconds, but you're gonna take the time in between. So it ends up taking you know, between seven and probably 15 minutes, depending on how quickly you're going through it. But remember, it's not about how fast you get through it, it's about everything you do has to have power, okay? So what I want you to do, get a piece of tape, put it on your finger, slap a backboard, slap a wall, slap something, go through exactly what we list in this video and in the PDF, and then retest that. And literally, I want you to send, it, so like send a picture to Ryan twice at Gmail. Send a picture of the tape difference because it's going to be a two to three inch difference for most of you guys who do this more up. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure, tell your friends about twice speed. I'll talk to you guys soon.